Hey, what is up? Mike here, and today I will be reviewing the Asus Chromebook C302. This is Asus's 2-in-1 hybrid device. This thing packs a lot of power for a pretty decent price at around $500. Now, for some, that may be too much, but hopefully by the end of this review, you understand why they made this device $500. Now, full disclaimer before anything else, I did pay this with my own money. Asus did not send this review out for any other purposes. So, all the opinions that you'll be hearing from this will be mine and mine alone. I just wanted to get that out of the way. But without further ado, let's get started. So, let's talk about the build quality first. And it's clear that Asus really wanted to go for a MacBook-like aesthetic with this build. And they succeeded. It's fully aluminum and weighing in at 2.6 pounds. This thing not only looks professional, but is lightweight as well. While it wouldn't compare to anything like an LG Gram, this thing still holds its own as being a lightweight device for anybody to use. I.O. on the device is also straightforward. You have two USB Type-C ports, a microSD card slot that can hold up to 64 gigs of external storage, two side firing speakers, a power button, a volume rocker, and even a headphone jack. If I had one small nitpick with this device so far, it would be the side firing speakers. While I wouldn't say they're the worst, I did notice a small little distortion once in a while when listening to a video or listening to some music. It's not a deal breaker per se, but it's something to look out for. The screen on this device is 1080p with great viewing angles and great color accuracy, and it's also a touchscreen display as well, so that's always a plus in my book. Good job, Asus. But the positives don't stop there. Asus made arguably one of the best keyboards for a Chromebook to date. It is a backlit keyboard with a 1.4 millimeter travel. This thing is amazing. Typing on it for hours on end, I never got tired of typing on this device because it was that good of a keyboard. Although I would say that certain other review sites may say that there's too much typing involved, but I can't stop them there. Now allow me to explain the specs of this device while I do some quick little gameplay with some of the Android apps that I installed on this device. It has an Intel Core M3 processor with 4GB of RAM installed and 64 gigs of internal storage with that microSD card slot can bump it up to another additional 64 gigs. And I will say that with this type of processor, this was made for Android gaming. Now while I will say that certain games are more suited for the tablet experience, I did notice that playing games such as Sonic for example, did work a little better with the keyboard and mouse design. Although I would say that in some instances, playing it on tablet mode would suit anyone else better. Although, just a personal preference, I'm more of a keyboard and mouse kind of guy than touchscreen. But to each their own. But now let's talk about one of the biggest selling points about this device. It's a 2-in-1 as well, so now you can also use it as a tablet in your spare time. However, in my personal experience, I didn't really feel the need to use the tablet mode all too much. While I do appreciate that there is a tablet mode installed, I only used it once or twice in my spare time when I was bored and I didn't really want to use the keyboard all too much, which was very rare of me to say because I enjoyed the keyboard that much, but still. While I do enjoy that it's there, I didn't really use it that much, so your mileage may vary, but still, it's nice to have. Overall, the Asus Chromebook C302 hits it right out of the ballpark. Besides a nitpick or two here and there, this device nails every aspect of what makes a good laptop. And also with the tablet functionalities of this thing, it has its novelty, but overall, this device is superb. Asus nailed every facet from the build to the screen, keyboard, etc, etc. I rate this two thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you all next time. Take care.